Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here with another Sew the Trends video and today we are talking all about shirring. So shirring is um, when you've got elastic thread actually in the bobbin when you're sewing and it pulls things in really nicely, um, kind of has a smocked look, but it's stretchy. So it makes things, um, not only is it a really pretty look to have, but it makes things very easy to fit because you have give um, and it's just everywhere right now. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the trend, how you can wear the trend. Um, I'll go through a couple of patterns that I have made and then uh, just a couple of more that if you want some ideas. And then I wanna share with you my most recent shirt make. Um, and it's not the tempo dress. <laughs> um, it's a, a top that I've made for my closet and so we'll be getting into that as well. Okay, let's get started before I make this video horribly long because you all know how I love to talk. <laughs> all right, let's talk about shirring. So, number one, if you wanna know how to do shirring, it's not hard. I actually have a video and I will leave, um, I'll pop up a link to that video there on how to shirr. It's a video I did last year when I did one of the dresses that I'm going to share with you here soon. So um, anyway, I will send you over there if you're curious on how to do that. Um, it's not hard, it's actually kind of addicting once you get, uh, get it down, so <laughs> beware. <laughs> okay, so shirring. Um, I have, I probably quoted Jennifer Mackie Mary from the Everyday Style School or your Everyday Style pod, podcast um, slash website a million times. But her big thing when it comes to trends is that, you know, you've got a trend salad, which is what younger people do, where they wear all the trends all at once because they're very fashion forward and yada, yada, yada. Or as you get to a point in your life where you're not interested in wearing all of the trends, she calls it a trend garnish, which is just a little nod to the trends. So as I'm talking, I'm actually going to be flashing up um, a few different pictures here of ready to wear that I um, have kind of pulled some sure details from. Now, um, if you're curious as to where these all come from, um, different uh, online stores like their websites. So I have a Pinterest board linked down below and it'll take you directly to um, the source of these links and they're, they should all be there because I, I just pulled these all recently. Um, but yes, you can definitely take it back to its original source from that Pinterest board if you're interested. But one of the big things with shirring is that in the, with the younger stores, um, things that my daughter might wear, you're seeing a lot of shirring through the bodice. Now that doesn't mean, I'm not putting an age on any of this. Like you can wear a shirred bodice all day long, any day of the week, no matter your age. Um, this is just kind of varying degrees of shirring and how comfortable you are with it. Because it is elastic, it does tend to um, hug the body a little bit more and be just a little bit more form-fitted. So it just depends on how comfortable you are with your figure, yada, yada, yada. However, um, it makes a great substitution for elastic. So if you love a good elastic waist in a dress or um, elastic in the cuffs of things, um, or just anywhere like in a neckline, it, shirring can easily be um, substituted for those or created where you didn't have any before. And um, it's just something a little fun and a little different. And honestly, it's not as tight as regular elastic. Like it still cinches things in, but it's not as um, restrictive as if you just put elastic into something, I find. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so definitely, you know, not only can you do like the full bodice that's shirred, shirred and you know, they've got some beautiful squared necklines, big sleeves that go along with those, but you can also take um, a cuff of a shirt, for example, and there's some examples of this um, that are maybe kind of a little hard to see just because of the fabric that the model is wearing. But um, for instance, if you, you know, the shirts that are really in that have the nice big thick cuff, you can substitute that cuff with shirring. So all you would need to do is hem your sleeve flat, nice narrow hem, and then I like to start anywhere, I don't know, five eighths of an inch to an inch below that hemmed line and start doing your shirring. And how many lines you do depends on how long you want that cuff, uh, how much you want it to be fitted to your arm. I like to keep my lines of shirring anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. So, you know, just determine if you want three inches of um, shirred area, just figure out how much that would be with your, you know, however far apart you want them spaced. And remember, once you've done one line, it sucks itself in much, much more the more lines that you do. So um, yeah, very easy to do. It's very easy um, if you've got a loose fitting shirt and you wanna cinch it in a little bit instead of putting a casing in it to put elastic, or same with a dress, you can just put um, 
I don't know, a few lines of shirring to do. I think an inch and a half is a very attractive width, but however, you know, you could go thicker, skinnier, whatever. <laughs> but it's a beautiful way to um, add the elastic and add that in at a waist without, it's just different. It's just different than having just an elastic casing. So any of your patterns that use elastic, maybe in the waistband of a dress or whatever, try some shirring. It could be a lot of fun and something um, quite different. So that being said, I wanna talk about, let's talk about my newest make first, and then I'll go through and talk about the other patterns that I had kind of earmarked for this. And I'm going to set my computer down so ugh, I don't forget any patterns. <laughs> Okay, so my newest shirred make is the Ballad Blouse by Love Notions. Look at this. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. I made it in this rayon crepe from the fabric store. And um, this pattern, you can do either gathered yoke panels here at the top or the sheared panels. And technically, I mean, you don't really need the stretch up here. This is really just more for looks. I mean, the, the, the um, elastic here does help gather this in um, here at the top of the yoke because you're stretching it to sew and then it kind of brings it in. But I just think that it's, I mean, this is a great way to bring in the shearing without um, it being in your face or like super tight to you. So I love this in a solid number one because um, yeah, you can really see that detail and it's just something a little extra. It's like the Beyond Basic Knit Tops, but this is like a Beyond Basic Woven Top. <laughs> I just really love it, love the color and everything. Um, I made the size medium with a full bust, which is pretty much my standard size in Love Notions patterns. Uh, this one is one of their newer releases, and I will uh, leave down here the size range that it comes in. But um, I've done the flutter sleeve on this. Um, I was kind of actually up in the air on, it. you can do sleeveless, you can do the flutter sleeve, you can just do a short sleeve. There's a really cute, um, like a little tie sleeve if you want that cute little detail. And then there's like a longer bishop sleeve, which actually you could make the longer bis bishop sleeve. And instead of putting, um, I'm not sure if that's finished off with bias binding or elastic. I'm thinking elastic. Um, but you could, instead of that, you could do a cuff. You could lengthen it full length if you wanted and do a cuff with some shearing there at the cuff or the same with like a three quarter um, sleeve. So kind of uh, up to you with the, the differences. Um, I finished off the hem. It has a shirt tail hem and I finished it off with some of the striped fabric that I have. I had some more bias binding from my Harmony. So finished it off with that. Um, shorten the body by an inch because I, I usually do that with their tops just because I'm short and my torso is where I'm the shortest. So I usually um, will shorten tops by an inch and it, love it. Just love it. It's just such a beautiful, easy breezy top. It's got gathering in the back, which makes it really nice and comfortable. Um, yeah, and the button band, if you haven't done buttons yet, the button band is pretty easy as well. It's just a really, really good top. So this is my first pattern where I want to suggest if you wanted to dip your toe into some shearing. So that is nice because it is, I don't really want to lay this on the floor, but I don't know where else to throw that. It's nice because um, it's just a little nod to the trend without it being over the top. But um, yes, if you haven't um, tried that pattern out yet, it's such a good one and it's great, I think, for now in summer, especially, I was gonna make that one sleeveless, but, and I was going back and forth between that and the Harmony. I wanted to make one sleeveless and put a sleeve on the other. And I ultimately decided to do the Harmony sleeveless, which you saw, that was my matching sets I did. And then this one, um, I decided to put the sleeve on. And this fabric matches so well with that stripe that I can very easily wear the shirt with, well, everything goes together. I mean, that's the whole point of the capsule wardrobe, right? <laughs> but it goes great with those striped shorts, um, as well as my brown shorts and my navy shorts. It's just a really good, a good top. I love that color. Okay, so that being said, let's talk about some more patterns. Okay, so um, last summer was kind of my first, I had done it before, but it had just been a really long time. Um, so kind of getting back into doing, playing around with some shirring. And that was when I made the Coco Wawa um, raspberry dress. So that is a pattern that uses a lot, the whole bodice is shirred. And um, it's a jumpsuit and it's a dress. I did a little bit of hacking because I was recreating a Everlane dress, I believe is what it was. Um, I mean, I'll put a picture of me in the dress here. Um, I'll also, I can leave a link up to that video from last summer as well. It's such a great, it was a sew the look. Love that dress, it's still very comfortable to wear. I used a Liberty London um, fabric for it. It's a ton of lawn, it's just, it's easy breezy. And I think that it's very flattering. And again, even though it's form-fitting, um, it's not, 
it's still loose enough that it, I don't feel, it's a comfortable summer dress is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not like, oh, this is too much touching my skin. It's a very comfortable summer dress. So don't shy away too much from the full shirring um, of the bodice. Um, it, it, it's very comfortable to wear in summer. Okay, so that's one that I would say is full on. Another one pattern that's probably um, a little bit more full on is the Victory Pattern Sophia Top and Dress. I really wanna make this. I've had it in my stash for a while now. Um, I'm probably gonna make one for my daughter before I make one for myself, and it'll probably be a top. Um, but this is another one that I've seen all over the um, sewing world and a ton of people making really gorgeous versions. So that is one that definitely uses the shirring and it's you know, very on trend, obviously, but also, um, I think it's a pretty simple make once you've done all of the shirring, which is not hard again. It's just a matter of doing it. <laughs> okay, so if you are a little intimidated or maybe just want a little bit less, some patterns that just have kind of a nod to it are number one, the Love Notions Tempo Dress, Sundress. This is the dress that I've made. It's their newest pattern release and uh, like last week, I guess. Was it last week? <laughs> week before? It's a new release. Um, yeah, I think it was last week because it, the sale, I think, just ended this week. But um, anyway, fantastic dress pattern. It just has a little shared um, panel in the back, which you can do with elastic if you don't want to do the shirring. But it makes it super easy to fit and very comfortable to wear. No fastenings. It goes up over your head very easily. Just a great little sundress and um, that shared panel. Again, it's just so on trend and just so cute. Um, another one that's a nice little um, nod that I have made is the Pattern Preacher Olivia dress. So this dress I made last fall, I believe. I actually wore it to Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was kind of a bust, wasn't it? But I still made everyone put on nice clothes. <laughs> Just because, why not? Even if you're stuck at home. But I, I did wear it for Thanksgiving, and did I? No, I did not wear that in family pictures. Um, but love that dress. Love it, love it, love it. Use some thrifted fabric with it, and it has just a sheared panel in the front. So the back is flat, but the shearing is in the front, which just makes it, number one, extremely comfortable for any holiday where you're eating food. Um, and number two, it, you know, kind of gives you shape, and I found that very, very flattering. So yes, definitely um, that's a good one as well. And then finally, um, the other one I wanted to talk about a little bit is the Style Art Patterns Asha dress. I actually own this one as well and have not made it. This one I'll probably make, you know, where I might make my daughter the Victory Patterns Sophia top for um, the incoming fall season. I think I might do the Asha dress for me. Um, it's just got some little um, shearing at the uh, wrists, so for the cuffs, and also at the waist of the dress. So this one's a lovely one to make out of like a real drapey silk or a rayon. Um, I think it would just be lovely. <laughs> and I've got some silk in my stash that I think might just, or and I also have rayons in my stash that it would just be lovely for as well. So a great um, transitioning garment, I think, and also just a little bit of a nod to the shirring where you're not having to go completely overboard. So there you have it. Just a few patterns that I wanted to highlight, but I just really wanted to encourage you guys to try the, um, just the whole trend out. Because again, you don't have to, shirring doesn't mean you need to have a completely shirred bodice. You can do just little bits and pieces if you just kind of want to try it out, see how you feel, see how comfortable it is, um, even committing to sewing it. Um, although, you know, get a few scraps and just play around with it. I have found my biggest tip when it comes to shirring and it being done properly is making sure that your tension on your bobbin when it's been wound, and I actually wind, I think in the video that I, I sent you to, I wind it by hand, which is fine. You just want to make sure, you know, if you're going kind of fast when you're winding it, you're getting some good tension. But I actually, for this last round, wound it on my machine and it did fine. You want it to be tight enough because um, if it's not, it's not going to, when you're sewing, it's not going to suck things up. So that was my biggest thing. I didn't have any issues with actually sewing with it. I just found that you needed, I mean, you don't want to pull it as tight as it can to wind the bobbin, but you definitely want some tension on there um, so that it bounces back. You know, it has enough to bounce back. Um, that, yes, because I was messing around with tension a little bit with it and found that if I didn't have it wound tight enough, it did nothing. So, <laughs> So that, there you have it. That is my biggest tip, is to make sure that it is um, wound on the bobbin, whether by hand or by machine, tightly enough that it will suck the fabric in as you go. So there you go. I also backstitch. I think I do that in the video, though. I backstitch when I start with the elastic thread <laughs> just to anchor things. And yeah, I've not had a problem with it, and I've washed all of the stuff that I've made so far 
quite a number of times. So uh, yeah, definitely go have a little test of the Shuring uh, trend. See, I mean, again, it's very addictive. It's very fun to do, to sew. So uh, yeah, definitely go have a try with that. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, today is Friday, but there is no feature Friday pattern today for Love Notions. Um, Tammy takes a break every now and again, and that is this week. Um, but there will be another one next week, so definitely check back for that. Um, also, Chris from Unsocial, um, she is on Instagram, and she is doing a little series on her stories on Instagram. And I'm going to send you, I'm going to have a link down below to her profile, but um, basically... It, uh, she's going through body types and patterns and stuff like that and she's doing like a whole little series all through stories and she's got them highlighted in her profile and what that means is below her picture when you click onto the link it'll take you to her profile um, you know you've got her picture with her little bio and then you've got the grid down there but then in between the picture and the grid there's the little circles those are um, saved story highlights so um, yeah if you guys are interested in exploring a little bit more on body shapes and um, how to sew for those and uh, that kind of stuff she's delving into that so I will leave a link down to her profile on Instagram down below if you wanted to take a look there. I just thought that was something that might be of interest to you guys. I get a lot of questions on that. So yeah, wanted to send you over that way. Also, this is the second time I've uh, filmed this video because um, Kira from uh, The Island Socialist had... <laughs> I joked, I commented on her video, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have the same brain, because this is the second time in a row. Um, last time I got my video up first and she was like, had filmed hers, and same with me. I had filmed mine and then hers came out, where we have done the same So the Trend video. <laughs> So I'm going to leave a link down. Um, so I re-recorded things just so I wasn't making it a little bit different and a little, um, yeah, something to, you know, to add to the community and not, you know, be a double up of that. But um, I'll leave a link down below to Kira's video. I think she's got 12 patterns um, that she has highlighted uh, for the shirring. I think it's 12. Um, I can't remember now, <laughs> but I am going to leave a link down to her video down below. Um, so if you are interested in the shirred trend, then you can definitely go try out, um, see her video as well. She is absolutely lovely. She makes some of the most beautiful things. She's gorgeous. Her channel is wonderful and she has a lovely island accent that is just beautiful. So um, definitely if you have never tried her channel out before, she's got really, really great stuff on there. So I am going to leave a link down to that um, shirred video down below as well. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday, and I will see you on Sunday with the slot zipper tutorial. So uh, yeah, have a good weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye.